Here at Carver Hawkeye Arena, Big Ten Women's Gymnastics Championships underway. Here's a look at the performers that you saw in rotation number one of their scores. Brittany Brown of Ohio State on the vault with a 9.75. Her teammate, freshman Carly Wallach, helping out as well with a 9.8 on the floor. Sarah Alexander, 9.725 for the first 10 all Big Ten performer from last year. The bars, Kara Pomeroy of Illinois, one of the best in the nation, improving it with a 9.85. On the floor, Chayla Hill, equaling her teammate's score, 9.725. And on the beam, Iowa's Courtney Williamson thrilling the home crowd with a 9.725. Here's a look at the team scores after the first rotation. Ohio State in the lead with Michigan State in second, Illinois and Iowa in third and fourth, respectively. Getting you set with a lineup for rotation two. Michigan on the vault. Ohio State will have the uneven bars. Minnesota on the beam. Penn State takes to the floor, sitting out in the second rotation. Michigan State, Illinois, and Iowa. Here in rotation number two, Michigan on the vault, Shanna Dugan, senior from Ontario, Canada. Doing the very popular Yurchenko vault, the round up on with the full twisting layout. Really, I didn't see much wrong there, did you, Dominique? Um, her body positioning was really nice, nice form, just a little deduction on the landing. Mm -hmm. Katie Lieberman of Michigan, ranked second in the Big Ten this season in the vault. She was sticking it pretty good in warm-ups. We'll see about the big time right now. She also does the Yurchenko full. That was, a, that was that probably was the most controlled landing. Yeah, that, that was the seen. best one so far in the whole competition. The amplitude was up there, nice form, and she even flared out at the ending with what the judges are looking for. In college gymnastics, they went to the vault table two years ago, and it really has allowed these bigger, more explosive vaults, the Yurchenko vaults, and really a nice layout position. Slight deduction on the landing, that's the only problem. The vault table gives the gymnasts a little more surface area to work with, so it's safer and it allows them to really get more push off the, off the vault. Elise Ray tied for third at the Big Tens last year in this event. It's the only one she didn't win here. 9.9 .9 was her score last time around. This time? Very strong, Yurchenko full, nice landing, nice form. She has a certain lightness about her when she's vaulting, which seems hard to believe because you're running so fast and pushing so hard, but it was very, she had a very light landing to her. Well, it really helps when you're taught very well, and she has great fundamentals, nice round off, right. reach back to the horse there. Slight Just deduction slight with the leg separation. A beautiful vault. Jenny Diley ranked number one in the conference on the vault, 10th nationally. See her average, nearly 9.9 .9 per vault. Michigan's off to just a fantastic. Did that look like it dropped out of the air? It Dominique? did. It was wonderful height, great form. Michigan's done a wonderful job on vault. Each of the scores have continued to creep up. And I wouldn't be surprised if this is the highest scoring. Highest score. She really nailed it. She looked nice at her form. legs were together. I, just very pretty. Slight deduction on the landing, though, but other than that, it was beautiful. She tied for third in this event last year. Could be up top the standings once again. Ohio State working the bars here in rotation number two. We'll take a peek at Liz Meany, senior, season high 9.8 on the bars this year. There's a good view from the side of the bars. It really allows you to see if they're hitting those handstand positions. Uh oh, thank you, a little problem there. That's better than completely falling off the bars. That's going to be a three-tenth deduction, possibly with a little bit more added on to it. With that little extra swing yeah. she had to do. Here she comes up for her dismount. Nice landing. But that little break on the Jaeger. Really going to cost her. Give her credit for keeping her focus and landing the disc down strong. On floor, Lisa Clark of Penn State. Getting ready to get started. There you see her season numbers in the Nittany Lion Roar. Ready to start off the performance for the junior from Philadelphia. I'm impressed watching her just for her sheer strength. 
She is so strong on the vault and floor, just in, in the tumbling. You can just see it in her legs. Beautiful tuck full in. And I love the expression on all these gymnasts' face when yes. they're performing to the crowd. She really, really plays to the crowd. She's got the numbers to back it up. She was part of an eight-way tie for fourth in this event here at the Big Tens last year with a 9.9 second tumbling run. I'm glad that she made that double full punch front because she was missing that about four or five times in a row in the warm-ups. It's great that she was able to pull it out when it really mattered. And I like that she combined the back and front tumbling there in the one run. It's always kind of a surprise to see someone finish a twist and then go right away into a front flip. Mm -hmm. Yeah, much of my career consisted of that exact tumbling pass, and I tumbled <laughs> all the way back, so I definitely love seeing it happen again. So far, so good for Lisa Clark on the floor for Penn State. Final pass. Finishing up with a very high double tuck, perfect landing. You do see a lot of different styles in the dance, don't you? Yes, what a nice routine. Yeah, the smile there. Certainly telling you that Lisa Clark enjoyed it. And head coach Steve Shepard as well for Penn State. Let's take a look at one of her runs. It was the last one, the double tuck. Really nothing wrong with that, obviously. Plenty high and good control on the landing. <laughs> Here is the top performer on the floor of the Big Ten Conference this season. It is Kate Stopper, the senior for Penn State. She was a second team all Big Ten performer last year. What you want to watch out for in her first tumbling run is an Arabian double front. And it's it's really something to see. And it's an E skill, so one of the most difficult you can do on the floor X. Not only is it a difficult skill, it's also a difficult landing. It's a right. blind landing, front somersault. It's really hard to see your feet land. She tweaked this a little bit and took a whip out of it. Maybe Very just to build nice. the confidence. Yeah. And <laughs> worth the effort right there. It seemed strange to me a little bit to be tweaking that routine. You've been the tops in the conference all year, but still you're fine tuning even up to the last moment. The coach Steve Shepard said she just wasn't quite hitting it as she wanted to. She does a whip, another whip right there. And he said it was just, she wasn't able to distinguish enough between those two passes. And if it's really not going to affect your start value, you're right. still going to have a 10 0 start value. You might as well stay clean and stay on your feet in the performance. Well, Kate certainly looks relaxed and in control right now. Very nice jump combination. That's things that many people in the audience aren't going to pick out, but that's something the judges are really looking for. She did two popas in a row. You know, Kate and describes herself as not a great technician, but overcomes that maybe with power, and we've certainly seen that so far. Kate has to be pleased with that routine. It was very nice. Kate Stopper, senior from Penn State, getting some high fives and hugs from her teammates. Minnesota on the beam. Here's a look at redshirt freshman Ashley Stanton, and this is a great story of perseverance. Tore her ACL in her right knee at age eight or age 14, had surgery, came back, Junior Olympic Nationals in 2003, top five in three events, comes to Minnesota last season, warming up for her first ever collegiate event, blew out the same knee again, has rehabbed and come back, and here she is at the Big Ten. And she doesn't wear a knee brace, which is amazing. Yeah. Yeah, usually when people come back from knee surgery, they're always wearing a knee brace, being protect, protecting that knee a little bit more, but just watching her perform so far, she's done quite well. Starting off with a back handspring back layout. And I think her coaches, Jim and Meg Stevenson, have really worked hard to make sure that she does only those skills that won't, you know, put her in jeopardy of injuring the knee again. Yeah, protecting your body is key, especially if you've had two major injuries like she's had throughout her career. She has worked the beam and the floor so far this season. She got hurt in the vault. They haven't let her do the vault in competition, but she's been pushing them a little bit to let her start doing it in practice. And you see for the point of view of the Minnesota bench, they are certainly liking what they are seeing for the redshirt freshman from Centennial, Colorado. Very nice switch side there. So far in Ashley's routine, it's pretty solid. You're not seeing a lot of jitters. She seems pretty confident and cool and calm and collected on the balance beam. And a nice combination into your dismount. 
Oh, the Golden Gophers like it through two rotations, the third rotation on the way. Stay tuned. More from Iowa City coming up on CSTV.